Um, so let's break down what we're really talking about here, Will. Basically, if I'm an entrepreneur in Kenya and I want to sell my vegetables and someone wants to buy them, you're giving me the currency in which to do that. Break down what you're doing. Yeah, essentially we're telling communities and, and entrepreneurs that they're able to use their own production as the basis for creating a currency or a token and put those currencies on an entire market in that community and across the nation. So we're, really what's exciting here is for the first time in the blockchain itself, <laughs> we have the ability to connect tokens together and back them by local production. And part of that in the beginning was that it was all uh, localized. So you might have a local blockchain technology but that wouldn't be able to trade with the country over here, for example, or the community over here. But now you can. Uh, how fast can this grow? How big can this get, Will? Well, I, right now we're, we're into the third generation now of blockchain technology, and so the size of this is really pretty much unlimited. I mean, these networks are just about as fast as Visa is today. And so creating, uh, our, our goal for the next year, for instance, is creating 100,000 new wallets on the blockchain that are trading with each other every day. And so we're really building emergent economies out of the ability for local producers, local uh, farmers to create their own credit. So Marina, you really studied this. What are the positives? What are the negatives to something like this? Well, um, I think that I would like to differentiate a bit um, between cryptocurrencies and the underlying technology that really empowers them, sort of the distributed ledger technology or blockchain that we're discussing. And it's really that ability to have a ledger which is um, transparent, auditable in real time to all uh, participants to the network, uh, where the data can be immutable once it's loaded on the chain. Uh, and cutting uh, a number of intermediaries because of, of the way that the transfer of value is established across the network in a distributed fashion. I think that creates an enormous potential uh, throughout a host of financial services uh, in trade facilitation, in supply chain finance, global remittances, etc. So I think the fact that you can establish on the chain in a cost efficient manner a digital identity can have tremendous impact in terms of allowing either individuals or entrepreneurs to access financial services that previously were not available to them. Um, so the potential is great considering that we have about two billion people around the globe that do not have access to financial or credit services. So from that perspective, I think the potential is great in sort of providing um, an infrastructure, if you have it, to manage um, um, and a secure digital identity, which then can yeah. lower many of the transaction costs um, that are related to the services themselves, and also lowering the compliance costs that have made many traditional players yeah. um, exiting certain markets. So, Marina, the, the flip side is security. And if one uh, neighborhood or, or, or one uh, cryptocurrency neighborhood attracts more than others, all of a sudden you're going to have an, an imbalance within the community. How do you deal with that, Marina? Well, I think there are issues that need to be established ex ante. So um, in a particular collaborative credit system, as I imagine is the one that Grassroots um, is um, sort of onboarding on the blockchain, you have a set of social relationships and an off-chain governance that has already been established. Um, it would be very important when we scale uh, on, on a blockchain, uh, let's say, uh, system, when we scale beyond where that governance system exists, to ensure sure that some basic rules regarding how you get data on the system to verify its veracity, how you resolve issues if there are conflict, um, how do you deal with liability, um, that those issues, which are not necessarily technological mm -hmm. but more governance, uh, need to be addressed.